Hello, welcome boys, girls, and otherwise, like, if you identify as a squirrel, I got the nuts for you. Um, what I'm going to just talk about here is obviously it's on the screen in front of you. Uh, Hobbit has been implicated in some match fixing allegations by Striker, former teammate of, uh, uh, of Hobbit, um, I believe coaching the party lineup. Nope, apparently part of it, according to this uh, tag. But basically, just a quick summary is this guy comes forward and says that uh, the team party were involved in a couple of spot fixing attempts. Um, now, basically, spot fixing as opposed to straight up match fixing. Match fixing is obviously fixing the outcome of the game i.e we're going to lose in this game that we're the favorites in whereas spot fixing is literally what it says on the tin you are picking certain spots to fix so you're basically saying um we're going to fix certain bets one bet might be uh, the outcome of the pistol rounds that's one that i think uh striker says his team are involved in and basically that says who's going to win both pistols or who's going to win the first pistol or they're going to split a pistol each uh, and then they fix that bet. It's obviously a lot easier to do than trying to throw an entire game. Just, you know, make sure that there's a certain number of pistols won by one team or whatever. Uh, it's also harder to prove. It's obviously harder to, to form um, or to investigate and to basically get people done for spot fixing. Um, because, it, you know, if you're careful with the paper trail... There's basically no way that anybody can prove you fixed like a very specific pistol round. It's it's going to be pretty hard to prove. Basically, I just wanted to kind of address this because it's a huge piece of information. And we've been talking a lot during this major. I've already done a video about competitive integrity and how it's very important in the game. And obviously, if these allegations against um, any of the players, but Hobbit in specifically because he is the highest profile player and a player currently playing in a major, a player who since these allegations has won a major, right? So this is obviously pretty big news. Maybe if Hobbit had been caught at the time, he might not have been able to go and play and win that major. It, it's a pretty... There are some pretty huge ramifications on the history of our game just because a player like Hobbit is involved. So... If we scroll down and we take a look at the specifics of the case, basically the striker guy says that they were supposed to net about $5,000 each from these bets. There were three group stage matches where they lost the first pistol round on each one. Um, but unfortunately for them, um, like if you're going to match fix, you would at least hope you'd get the fucking money for it. Sorry, spot fix. They're apparently cancelled due to suspicion of nefarious activity. Now, what? basically seems to be the case and this is from the deserto report and i will switch over um to the deserto report um at a certain point and we'll look at some of the evidence but basically it seems like fitch one of the members of the team um couldn't keep his mouth shut about what was going on told some people externally and somehow this information got through to the bookmaker who then cancelled the bets or cancelled the the games being on their website whatever they did to um put the issue to bed from the betting company's point of view um now so just quickly to summarize it seems like these the team agreed to fix uh some matches to spot fix lose some pistol rounds intentionally before they got the chance to actually get their rewards from these spot fixes fitch made a mistake told some people told someone he shouldn't have and got the bets cancelled which lost the team out of all of their money and then later down the line, it seems that the team came to blows over this situation, and that was essentially the death of the team. Now, um, e ESIC have apparently started an investigation as of Cloud9, which is obviously great. It seems like both organizations have taken things seriously and gotten onto things nice and quickly. In the case of ESIC, it probably means in about 2030, we'll get Hobbit's ban come through, uh, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> I mean, I'm hoping that because this is an isolated incident, like all jokes aside, E6 should be able to get to a conclusion a lot quicker. The problem with the coach bug scandal is that there were so many different uses of the bug. The bug happened so many different times. You have to investigate it all. You have to consider all of the different abuses of the bug when you're thinking about punishments because it's got to be fair. It's got to be representative of what you did. And you have to take into account basically you know from anywhere from the bug being used accidentally it just triggering and a guy being like what the fuck is going on to somebody like peacemaker clearly blatantly abusing the free roam bug 
you know you've got to take into account all these situations analyze and take into account every single one and obviously that's going to take some time in this instance it's one isolated incident so it should be quicker to investigate but it's e6 so who the fuck knows now um to take a look at the report itself as best as we can considering the website is fucking you know laid out like aids ads everywhere whatever i'll just scroll through this summarize uh basically talking a bit about striker obviously he coached fours for a little while um most recently i interacted with striker because he was a little bit upset that i apparently didn't give him the credit he deserved when i did my jerry article whatever separate point uh so this is the first bit of the article which i think is very interesting striker has announced that he is apparently suffering from a serious illness um you know all best wishes to the guy i hope he is okay but obviously this is the first aspect which is a little bit interesting he has come out six or seven years or whatever after the events when a serious illness is upon him apparently coming clean so that he can have a clear conscience seems to be basically the situation i don't know um it, it's weird timing for sure particularly after like i say i personally have just had a conversation with him apparently lamenting the fact that he is like this article will go on to say a bit of a forgotten man in csgo it just makes it seem very bizarre timing um for this to come out now like i say just in the midst of having an argument publicly about how he's not appreciated enough or not given the credit that he deserves for his time on forza and also hobbit is currently participating in a major his previous team was just participating in a major i definitely get the impression that striker is lamenting and feeling sorry for himself that he has kind of been left in the dark when it comes to counter-strike apparently involved with a lot of very prominent members of the scene who are now experiencing a lot of success and he has as far as i can tell no work in the scene i'm not trying to make comments um i'm not criticizing the guy per se i'm just pointing out some information that it has to be considered when talking about his story and when thinking about the fact he's come forward with these allegations context is always super important and in this instance the context is definitely it raises an eyebrow let's just put it that way um then he goes on to um obviously put these tweets and videos together um of spot fixing um Another interesting point of context is Party was just a name for the team. They weren't under an organization and they weren't earning any money. And that actually, in some sense, supports the idea that the match fixing might have taken place. It makes it more realistic to suspect that these guys basically not seeing any income were like, yeah, fuck it. Let's spot fix. Let's get some money on the table. Um as we've said here are the compromised uh, matches you can go on and you can have a look at the um pistol rounds in specific and, and the video so what part of the evidence the striker put forward was some videos of him commentating over the top explaining the pistol rounds what went down and why they were thrown now i can't talk to the commentary because it's in i assume russian so i don't understand it i'm sure there are um there are going to be some translations i would expect coming through um i actually haven't when i watched them i didn't see if there were any uh let's just have a quick look now let's see are there any uh are we gonna get have we got any english captions no okay so we haven't got any translated uh captions does what is auto translate gonna do anything useful let's see if the english uh auto translate are any good hang on Oh, to be fair, it, it, it looks not that bad, in all seriousness. So maybe you can try and do the uh, YouTube um, automated translations. That's up to you. I haven't gone for that because they might be unreliable. But basically, from looking at the games, yeah, that it does seem a little bit suspect. Um, some play that seems a little bit hard to justify in terms of good Counter-Strike. However, on the flip side it's low tier counter strike it doesn't necessarily mean a lot to see shit gameplay occurring 
it's circumstantial at best basically um whilst yes it does look a little bit suspicious um and the article says just about um as much i wouldn't expect anything less from richard lewis i think he's a reasonable sensible intelligent guy he's not going to jump to conclusions however there are then some uh bets that have been screenshot um showing the websites which we used um striker also explains that apparently some cash bets were used to avoid using a digital trail um and then there are also some here we go some more screenshots of bets but also there are some screenshots of conversations between the players now again not russian so can't exactly comment on these screenshots exactly but to focus on the ones that matter the ones specifically with hobbit it doesn't actually, I think, incriminate Hobbit directly. What I have understood from translations um, that have been put down in the article, all it really tells us is that Hobbit probably bet on some games that in a tournament he was participating in that he probably shouldn't have. Um, 100% he should not be betting in a tournament that he is taking part in. However, doesn't allude to any match or spot fixing. The, the screenshots with Hobbit specifically, right? Um, after that, there is a, a lengthy TeamSpeak conversation that has been released, which apparently uh, is addressing the situation where Fitch um, made a mistake, talked about the, the spot fixing, and then caused the team to lose out on their money. And the conversation, supposedly, again, I'm going based on translations in the article. I can't confirm this, listening to the TeamSpeak recording myself. But again, it seems to support the idea that the team were pissed off at Fitch for making a mistake. Um, apparently, they talked directly. Keen, Stryker, and Fitch, who are some of the names involved. Stryker, obviously, the guy making the accusations. Um, directly talk about throwing. So it definitely seems like this team speak conversation at the end um, is the most egregious and damning of the whole thing because it seems to have a few of the, the members that, of the team involved directly referencing match fixing. Um, what would be interesting is, I think, from what I can see, the the trail, the paper trail for the betting doesn't seem to exist because it looks like all of the matches that were supposedly fixed, the bets were cancelled. So it seems like there is not going to be the paper trail, which is the smoking gun, basically, um, that this is what led to the I buy power bans. Uh, it's the popular match fixing one that everybody knows about. It was the biggest um, kind of case that's occurred, I think, within our scene that came to light and that everyone knows about. Um, and that's what got I buy power was the smoking gun of there actually being a paper trail of bets. You could see skins transferring accounts. This is not deniable. This is not circumstantial. This is we've seen the trail of skins from a bet to your account so we can see that you've directly benefited from a game that you supposedly threw so the final part of the article goes on to obviously talk about the um how reputable the accuser is in this situation of striker um and yeah it it, it goes through pretty obviously the idea that striker is a bit bitter he is a bit resentful at being the forgotten man in cs like i said before um yeah it, it seems grievances for sure like there's a little bit um quoted in here i assume from a conversation between richard lewis and the striker guy um and then you know further further down here um it, it talks about how the conversation at the end that I'm talking about, the incriminating conversation where the players seem to incriminate themselves. Um, the article seems to claim that his line of questioning in the recording seems to indicate he was intentionally trying to get evidence to use at a later date. <sighs> Basically, I don't want to be the guy who's going to point to this striker guy and be like, he's full of shit, he's bitter, he, he is jealous, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, it seems like he's, he's self-incriminated. Um, I don't know, man. It, it, it definitely seems like a guy who has decided that he has no future in the scene and has gone from a bit of a scorched earth approach. 
alternatively it seems like a guy who maybe sees this as a way of getting his name back out there and like somehow he's protected himself by being the guy to reveal the fixing even though it seems pretty clear that if there was any fixing he was definitely involved in it um with regards to the specifics of hobbit i don't think there is enough here to incriminate hobbit directly of match fixing at least in the evidence that has been presented here in the deserto um article Let me just go back here so we've got something a bit nicer to look at on our screen um so yeah basically let, let's summarize we've got some match fixing allegations that definitely seem to have some legs there is one particular team speak recording that seems to be pretty damning as some of the players self-incriminate and directly talk about fixing i think that if there is no paper trail from the bets because they were all cancelled then that team speak uh, recording is probably enough to catch bans for a handful of the players um it's probably enough to see striker banned it's probably enough to see fitch banned and it's probably enough to see keen banned from what i saw uh, and from what was translated bear in mind you got to take all of this with a pinch of salt guys and i want to emphasize this humongously i do not speak russian okay so you've got to understand i'm going off what's in the articles i'm reading the same information you are from the articles i don't have any expertise to examine the recordings in more detail uh, and give you the same insight that the uh, deserto report gives you so i highly recommend if you want to come to like a real self-driven conclusion if you want to make your own mind up go to the deserto article have a look at some of the evidence if you can and come to your own conclusions as for my conclusions like i say it seems like there is enough here to ban three of the players for sure um probably not enough from what i've read to ban hobbit outside of maybe hobbit getting a minor ban for betting in a tournament that he was playing in he should not do that but it's it's going to be a minor thing in comparison to fixing obviously do i think hobbit was actually involved in the fixing i really don't know from what has come out in this deserto report the screenshots involving him they're actually not that incriminating it to me and from what i read it looks like hobbit probably did bet on a tournament he was taking part in but the the screenshots could easily be hobbit just talking about other bets and not talking about any sort of fixing on the flip side it seems unlikely with the way that the team were talking about it that not everyone knew of and was involved in the fixing i would suggest hobbit is probably just intelligent enough and was mature enough to potentially just not talk about it in such open terms now obviously what i've basically said there is i think hobbit probably did was involved in some kind of fixing yeah on the balance of probabilities i think hobbit probably was involved in some minor fixing that he then didn't benefit from obviously it's still an attempted fix obviously that is still something that probably deserves some sort of retribution or some sort of punishment and i think if this ESIC investigation turns up any further evidence that i think hobbit might be in trouble like i really do um if the evidence that we've seen so far is all we're gonna see then yeah i think hobbit's fine he might get a small ban for like i say betting but i don't think it'll be much what is my ultimate takeaway from this is it definitely seems like some guy who is a bit bitter has come forward now Maybe as a result of his health problems, maybe as a result of seeing a lot of his former, you know, teammates, people he was associated with succeeding and he doesn't have any way back into the scene. It's definitely weird timing. It definitely seems like the accuser has some sort of ulterior motive in there. It's not out of the goodness of his own heart. I've got to be perfectly honest. I don't believe that. And from the article from Deserto, it doesn't seem like Richard Lewis believes that either. Um it's just fucking terrible isn't it really for our scene um we don't need shit like this coming out in the midst of a major this isn't me saying i wish it had been covered up and hidden this is me saying i wish it just hadn't happened right um obviously it has it now needs to be investigated and taken seriously because it has come forward um however yeah like i say from what i've seen on the balance of evidence i don't think hobbit is gonna be suddenly outed as like a huge match fixer um, I think likelihood is that Hobbit gets a small ban. Fitch, Keen, and Striker might just get big boy bans. Um, probably maybe not the same lifetime bans as I buy power. Spot fixing is definitely lesser on the scale compared to match fixing. A lot less. Um, 
but it, it's still uh, it's still damaging to competitive integrity it is still not good for the health of our game and it is still something that should be punished i just wanted to do a video on it because um yeah, I think you need to have uh, a little bit of a, a skeptical look when you look at these. You need to look and read these articles a little bit more carefully before you jump in and, and throw conclusions out. As you can already see just over here, sheesh, Hobbit, buy Hobbit, Ho my Hobbit match fixer, all of this shite. People have already started coming out with takes that are just not based on any realm of fact or information, not based on any sort of balance fixing. And, you know, as is in typical HLTV fashion, they are a little bit. Ooh. I just wanted to be a bit of a voice of reason. Try and be a little bit more balanced and nuanced about how I discuss the topic. It's probably come out a little bit uh, jumbled, a little bit train of thoughty, but that's because I did literally just kind of read this this morning and then stick the camera on. Um, I don't think too much is going to come of this. Some bands might and probably should from the evidence I've seen, but let's wait and see what Isik think. As for Hobbit, I think he'll be all right. And as for Striker, yeah, unfortunately, he does sound incredibly bitter. Doesn't mean his allegations aren't without merit or aren't with merit i should say so they should definitely be investigated and taken uh very seriously that's all from me boyos girlos squirrels i got you them not uh and if you didn't like it i mean you're probably a filthy little spot fixer filthy